So for starters, I'm just gonna take some paper towels and some acetone and just try to clean these pieces up really well and get all this dirt and grime off. And then instructions say kind of scuff everything up around that as well with some 80 grit sandpaper. So we're gonna do that too. So this kit did come with some fiberglass sheets. I'm gonna cut this into some squares because I do plan on kind of adding some reinforcement on this aside from just the resin. It came with a fancy mixing dish, which is also doubles as the packaging. I mean, how clever. Very high-end mixing popsicle stick, resin, and hardener. Instructions. Six tablespoons of resin with a quarter teaspoon of hardener. Recommends brushing it on, so I just have a really inexpensive paintbrush. It says brush a coat of mixed resin on the damaged and sanded area. Place layer of cloth. Use paintbrush to saturate cloth. A dabbing motion. Ooh, very nice. And they did come with a little squeegee too to remove any air pockets if need be. Let's see what happens. Probably the least amount of fun of anything I've ever done. Somebody that's done this a lot is probably laughing very hard. Um, yeah, definitely gloves. The biggest problem I had is it was setting up on the brush. I mixed up two batches, one for this side and then one for that side. And while I was mixing up the second batch, the brush set up hard on me. And I didn't have two brushes. So maybe like several of those cheap brushes so as they get a mess or it becomes sticky and things like that. I can jump to a fresh one. But other than that, everything went on pretty pretty smooth, I think. These are mediums. My wife uses them for food preparation. Whenever we're doing meat birds or we always get a quarter or half cow anytime she's processing stuff. So they don't fit me very well. <laughs> but that's all I got. It's crazy how strong that is already, just trying to give them a little wiggle. They seem pretty stout. I'm gonna clean up the inside of this hood just a little bit more. Really, there's no reason not to. So I cleaned it up a little bit more. Everything's setting up really nice and these feel very secure. I've been trimming a few little loose pieces of fiberglass like that out. On this one, I just poured, cause these are still stout, but the holes are stripped. I just filled the holes up with the resin and then ran the screw down into it. And those feel pretty good. One last thing I want to do is kind of have a pocket on that back side. This one did pretty well, but I want to do it to the rest of them, mix up a little bit more and kind of fill in that back side so it's got a little bit more strength in it and I need to get this bolt here installed. So it's probably honestly been about a week since I walked away from this thing, but everything's set up great. Everything feels really, really solid. I didn't just clean up the inside of the hood. Why I didn't just do that in the beginning, I'll never know. I should have just cleaned the whole thing up from the beginning. I was being a little lazy, but everything turned out pretty good. I want to try to get her mounted up on the 318 and see if all the brackets and everything fit and see what she looks like. Looks like it fits on there pretty good. Not bad. These brackets here are a little tweaked.
but the hood closes and is attached to the tractor so that's something and this is sold by the way i did replace that hard line there's another hydraulic fitting they got messed up in there i got a new filter to go in there to replace and now the hood's attached so there you go pretty cheap and easy diy fiberglass hood repair for no more than what i spent on that now i could try to track down a used hood these 318s kind of have a cult following so it is somewhat easy to track down used parts for them uh, the guy who is buying that if he wants to get a new hood he can if not he's got better than what i originally sold him because i originally sold it without the hood being attached and i was like i just kind of want to know if this is going to work out and i've never used fiberglass before so there you go if you want to know how to do this like a pro i would suggest finding some other videos and checking them out as well on people who actually do fiberglass work for a living but i'm definitely glad you stopped by and i hope you stay tuned to this channel because we got lots of other fun projects coming up including rebuilding a three-point auger that's going to be the next project on this channel because we got some work to do down by our pond and the u-joint blew out on our auger so we got to get that fixed i appreciate you guys watching and i hope i get to catch you on the next one